Hey you. Okay, my apartment is super dirty, but focus on me, not that. Um, so look, I'm not gonna be before you long because I too hate long intros. I just wanted to stop by, ask you guys briefly. If the spirit should call upon you to do so, please answer that calling, like, comment, subscribe. I don't know what I was pointing to, but that's all I wanted. Just wanted to show a little face, show a little love. <laughs> I don't really know what that was, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks. Okay, so this is my starting point. My closet pretty much hasn't been touched outside of hanging up a few things. I'm gonna start this off by installing the bow axle closet organization system from Ikea. The bow axle system comes with everything that you will need to install it except for the screws and the instructions are super unclear about that and I'm gonna write an email. Anyway, since I figured it out, I'll let you know. You'll need size eight and size seven screws. Um, but how many screws you need will depend on how big you wanna build your system. You're gonna start by installing your horizontal suspension reel. And how you figure out where you want this reel to be placed is this. Imagine however you want your bow axle system to sit on your wall, doesn't matter how high or low, this suspension reel is going to go right at the very top of wherever you want it to be placed. So right now you just see me making sure that the suspension reel is level and then simply screwing it into the wall. And for this step, you're gonna use your number eight screws. And this is completely optional, but I suggest using the screws that come with the drywall anchors. I use these whenever I'm trying to screw something into a wall, hang something from a wall. It just gives me a lot more security. Um, but after you are done screwing your suspension reel in, make sure you grab your level, make sure that things are even, and we are good to go. That is the hardest part of this project. Now let's finish it. Now your vertical reels are gonna hang from the horizontal one like bam, and you're gonna put the other one on the other side like bam, and that's it. As per usual, grab your level and make sure that the vertical lines are hanging properly, that they are even and straight. Um, if you do not have a level for this project, please make sure you buy one, borrow one, steal one, do whatever you need to do. And then use your number seven screws or your number six screws to go ahead and drill in those vertical pieces and I'm sorry I don't have the best angle and you guys can't really see but now I'm just popping in the brackets that are gonna hold the baskets in the shells and they're super simple they just pop in like Legos and lastly you see me sliding my baskets right into those brackets they go in easy peasy and that is pretty much it. Now I have my closet organization system ready. Look at my drawers. And if you do try this system, be careful um, when picking out all your pieces because I think I got a too big suspension reel. It's filling over by a couple of inches and this system does offer wider baskets and shelves. So I'm pretty sure that was my mix up, my fault right there. So when I was thinking about how to use this top shelf at first, I was thinking, well, it could just be a cool place to set out my clothes for in the morning, or it may be a cute place to display my wigs if I wore them like that. That's my cousins. But instead, I decided to start off with this display tray that I got from Target. It was like $12. And at first, I was going to use it as a catch-all, a place to throw like my bobby pins, wallets, keys, whenever I'm walking in the door. But instead, what I decided to do was this. I added this reed diffuser that I also got from Target, and it makes my whole closet smell like fresh laundry. The best decision. And I added this cute picture that I got from Ikea. And for the display tray, I used it as a place to set up my nail polishes, lip glosses, like my mini perfume bottles, things like that. And I found this earthy looking sauce bowl for only $2 at Target, and I added it as a decorative bowl. So the next step was transferring all my clothes to the same type of hangers and I'm using these oatmeal color flop hangers that I got from Target. This is a step that everybody can take. Having all your clothes hanging on the same type of hanger just gives your closet a much more aesthetically pleasing look to it. When you go into a retail space, you don't see them using eight different types of hangers and that's for a reason because they want to keep a uniform look, have everything hanging on the same colors, you see the same metals, everything's hanging at the exact same height. It just overall has a much more cohesive and flowing look to it when everything is on the same hanger, you see? The 
top of my closet was not too shabby so I'm just taking down what doesn't belong and now I'm getting ready to organize my bag so I'm taking out my wallets my crossbody bags my backpacks and I'm storing them all using the bag and bag method which is where you take your smallest bag or fanny pack wallet whatever and you place it into the next size up and then you take that bag and you put it in the bag that's the next size up and so on and so forth until you have like a Russian nesting doll situation and when it's all said and done I have all of my bags tucked away in this black backpack and you can't even see them And here I'm just adding my suitcase to my closet if you're not somebody who frequently uses your suitcase I encourage you to look at it as storage I store all my summer clothes in my suitcase just so that I'm not constantly looking at clothes that I can't even wear for months and lastly I'm gonna use some baskets to hold everything that's miscellaneous like my iron my steamer my backpacks and also I had a lot of extra hair lying around the house that I needed some place to store and I'm gonna stick these right at the top of my closet I got these baskets from Target and I believe they're about $20. And we are done with my closet. Now I was super excited with how my results came out but you guys tell me what you think. So I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video because I've fallen in love with it as I've been sitting here editing it. If you did like it, please comment, like, subscribe, get in them comments and express yourself. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like. If you have any tips, tricks, or suggestions for me, let it be known. Until then, I'll see you guys later.